Maritime Concept and Construction Hong Kong LTD was founded by an experienced yacht owner in 2005. The company develops concepts, designs and build yachts in south of China at Chioi Li shipyards and market them worldwide. MCC's new approach to yachts combines reliability, savings of commercial shipbuilding with the fascination, freedom of sailing through all remote regions and luxury of yachting while not forgetting the respect for environmental friendly solutions. Marco Polo is the first vessel out of our series which was launched in 2007 and her sister ship is in build in progress and will be launched this year. Below decks, the Marco Polo displays right from the start a special atmosphere, very personal and far away from the modern minimal style which you can find on many of the yachts today. KCA International was chosen for the interior decorating, a design studio based in London and managed by Quan Chu, who has been able to give an oriental and elegant aspect to all the interiors. As this is a cruise boat, the spaces has been organized to offer maximum comfort to the ship owner and his guests. The ship owner wanted an apartment which would offer him privacy and total independence on the top deck, placed back to back with the command area. It opens into a large lounge with an office area and a large balcony in the stern, connected to the bedroom with ensuite bathroom. The accommodation is very elegant, with the furniture in dark wood which matches the light colours of the carpeting and the cream coloured doors perfectly. On the main deck, there is a large open space lounge with a dining table, bar, galley, the library, all illuminated by the side windows which give a beautiful view over the sea. Windows in the bar and dining area are drop-down windows. The dominating style of this area strikes you immediately and the ebony makassar used for the interior is again a strong reminder of the Orient. Finally, on the lower deck, we can find a sleeping area with three large guest cabins, a gym and the cruise quarters. The communal areas are located outside, on the main stern deck and on the top fly, which has also a solarium function and is equipped with a bar. All the bow area is used for the storage of the two Castaldi water jet tenders, placed here because the ship owner has chosen to use the stern as a living area. A small stern beach has been maintained with two easily accessible and beautiful stairways to go down to the sea. The Marco Polo has become very interesting for its technical innovations and for its modern design philosophy. The choice of the designer, Ron Holland, has hit the mark. Ron designed many large sailing yachts in the past and became master in designing highly efficient hulls. His aim was to create a comfortable boat, characterized by many privacy offering spaces and above all, able to really navigate all over the world. An explorer vessel with maximum autonomy and the most innovative solutions to reduce fuel consumption, also due to its particular engineering and the scrupulous study of the hull. The boat was built in the Chioi Li shipyard, which has great experience in building commercial ships and is therefore able to influence the design with its knowledge about still ships building. The Marco Polo is able to cover 6,000 miles at a speed of 11 knots with its only 1.825 HP engine, which consumes about 150 litres per hour at cruising speed. The designers wanted a caterpillar propeller configuration, unpopular in the yachting world, but commonly used on commercial ships, where low regime rotation and large diameter propellers are preferred. For these reasons, it is possible to obtain a drastic reduction in fuel consumption compared to the traditional motor yachts. To overcome the fear of the ship owners about having a single engine, a bow thruster was installed. It has been moved by a C7 Caterpillar and is able to push the yacht at 6 knots, guaranteeing backup facility compared with all other similar yachts of this style.
idea for Marco Polo was to create a design that was, uh, first of all, capable of traveling anywhere. So my client's idea was to go up the Amazon River, go to Hudson Bay, Cape Horn, a, a yacht that really was capable of exploring the world. This is one thing. The other thing was that we wanted to design a very efficient yacht. So we are different from most motor yachts of this size that we chose a, uh, one very big engine and one very big propeller which is the most efficient way to power a, a yacht like this. Now, it, that's very normal with commercial shipping. All the modern commercial ships have one big propeller, the most fuel efficient way to propel through the ocean. But most yachts of this size have twin engines and consequently higher fuel uh, use. So we created this uh, idea to follow the commercial ship's efficiency. Uh, but because we knew the yachting uh, owners will, would be worried about one engine, one propeller, we chose to have another engine in the forward end of the yacht which specifically is driven by a commercial thrusting system. It's a little bit like a kind of a jet motor under the boat. So we use it for docking when you have the bow thrust to position the boat very accurately, but we can also pull Marco Polo along with this system. So it's like an independent second engine. Um, so we, we, we cover the single engine problem by this solution, which I think is a great way for a yacht like this. Marco Polo is different than many yachts of this size that we chose to have the owner uh, on the upper deck. So it's kind of like a penthouse deck where normally that's a lounge and where the captain is living. But we chose to give, devote this area to the owner with a lot of privacy, uh, a very nice view of course from high up looking out over the, the water and that's been very successful. So the owner lives on the top deck with his own private patio. Uh, guests in the normal way on a yacht like this are in the lower deck and we have uh, three guest cabins uh, plus a gym on the lower deck. Uh, on the main deck, this is quite normal to have uh, the dining lounge uh, on that area. But my client also wanted a little bit unique thing, is that we have a breakfast area just inside the main saloon. And we can lower the windows so that we have a kind of inside-outside uh, effect that's been very attractive and, and successful. And then the galley is forward of the dining area, which is very normal on a yacht like this. And forward of that, where normally the owner cabin is, we have a very large lounge for multimedia uh, entertaining area. And also the captain has this rather nice area of the boat that normally the owner has. So it's a, a little bit different than a normal 45 meter motor yacht. But people that have seen it like it very much and I think it will become a more popular arrangement.